faith, man. That's what brought me through. Like having faith was, it's like everything. Like you gotta have faith every day. If you ain't got faith, man, you won't have a thing. Like, cause you won't, you won't feel nothing. You gotta have faith. Like, if you ain't got faith, you you destroyed. if you think about it. This school was going through some adverse times. And they called us up and they said, hey, y'all come start a basketball team here in Alexandria. We all showed up. We're all thankful for this opportunity because of adversity. It gave us opportunities to coach, to play, to go to college, to get an education. Three. Let's go phones three from the beginning, guys. Hey, guys, it's here. It's time, fellas. You know? Whenever I say LSU, fellas, I want y'all to say, hey, it's loud as LSU! Hey! LSU! Hey! LSU! Hey! hey! It's our turn, fellas. It's our time. Let's go out there and let's lay it all on the line. I didn't expect this at all. Like, being in my city playing ball, like, it's like really a, a dream come true. Coming from uh, a, a smaller school, a smaller community, you can make it happen. So don't ever let someone tell you that coming from a small school can determine your life or your lifestyle. family to be there to hug me after my games and, you know, show me and tell me how much they love me, man. That just means so much to me, and I just appreciate them. And, you know, I appreciate God, and I appreciate the game. Being with them and spreading that positive energy brings love in the air. 
And that's really what family is all about. Championship rest, two claps. We did a good job tonight, guys, even though it was ugly. That's how it unfolds sometimes. Life ain't always going to be a straight walk. Sometimes you're going to be spent around, you're going to fall down, you're going to go left, right. You got to get up, you got to keep moving forward. We're going to rest and study and get ready for our, our last conference game of the season here at the fourth. We almost lost. We almost had that one L at the fourth, but it didn't happen, guys. That's a win. That's a game that you'll remember for a, your, the rest of your life. That's what mama, that ain't going to get it done in March. That was already predicted. We were supposed to do this. Up 17 points with senior guards on the floor. Can't make free throws. 23 turnovers. Bigs can't catch. Bigs can't finish. There's no reason. No reason. That game should be an overtime game with the players we have in it. It's a big week next week. Tree for playing better right now. A lot of come ready to go. They're chops, whatever you call it. They, they're ready to come in. They want to be the one team to beat us. We all know Paul Quinn is not going to beat us here. But Shreveport, guys, I had a line. It goes from yesterday to today, and then it's going to get tougher and harder on Tuesday. I'm going to tell you that right now. If we come in here with that, we're going to lose. You come here pouting and feeling sorry for yourself, they're going to wear us out. They're big. They rebound. We know it was a four-point game on the road. We got to come in here much tougher than together and better. Make free throws and finish shots. We should beat Shreveport. We should. But they're going to come down here wanting to win as well. We got to make a statement to them, guys. We need to three, national champ, six. One, two, three. Four, five, six. National champ. It all started at Rosenthal Elementary when I was the only third grader playing with the upperclassmen. I was the only third grader on the team. That's when I, uh, you know, I got better and I went to junior high and I, I played for Alexandria Junior High, AJH. I won two championships at AJH and then I went to Peabody High School. That's when, you know, everything started kicking off because that's when I won uh, Mr. Basketball of Louisiana. I went to University of Arkansas and I played two years there. And then I went to West Texas to play for Angelo State. I ended up finishing school in my hometown in Alexandria, LSUA, under Coach Larry Cadero. Well, most of my family, you know, we grew up in the senior quarters, and, you know, that's where our church is, so. to talk about life and, you know, things that we all been through. It's only people like my grandmother, Miss Shirley Lowe, and my mama, Lakeisha Wagner, and, you know, my Uncle Kenny. 
you know, who raised me and, you know, kept me on track when my dad couldn't be there for me. We all just got to keep faith. It's a great feeling to, you know, go back to my, my own church and feel the love from my own community and where I grew up from. For them to just keep on encouraging me to, you know, fulfill my dreams and my goals. I'm really thankful for that. You know, just to still have these people in my life. Guys, we're gonna go over the scout report. We're gonna go over some <sighs> film, and we're gonna go to study hall. We're gonna let you guys out so we can go eat in the cab. The next game is Shreveport, fellas. I've been spending a lot of time on these guys. Uh, we're gonna know that you know, inside life of a college basketball player is like do little to nothing tomorrow in practice. None stop. Very rested. We're gonna be hungry again. We're gonna have our you know appetite is gonna be Popeye's appetite as we talked about last year. Well, tonight is gonna be eggs. We're gonna be good and hungry after church. They're gonna go get a lemon. Watch what they're gonna do. Wild. Just as much as it is physical, it is mental. Shreveport struggles to score. All his tendencies, can he go left, can he go right? They're demolishing people on the board. How good can he shoot? Can he pull up off the dribble? Or is he a set shooter? Is he a defender? Do he like to rebound the ball? Like, it's a lot of things that you have to know. If you can think the game, you can win the game. Most of the time, the team is like with each other. 24-7, somebody's with somebody. We're all just bonding and uplifting each other every day, being positive, making each other laugh and having fun. I was wondering if we should start this game or come off the um. Man, you just got to be yourself. Like, you can't, you can't be nobody else. You can't try to be nobody else. You know, you got to be you. You know, it'll bring so much, you know, more out of y'all situation or your situation. And it'll just make it better and, you know, y'all can learn from each other. There is always something to do every day. The city of Alexandria has showed me and my teammates so much love and we just appreciate, you know, all the support that, you know, that they've shown and, you know, how much they believed in us. Thank you for the position that you put us in. Thank you for 
Coast in to win another conference championship. And we want to give you the glory and give you the thanks. Again, appreciate you letting us listen to our belly. And this is our second year as a basketball program, man. Basketball plays a, 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 a huge role in the city of Alexandria. Oh, you want to pick? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's amazing how a sport can bring so much energy and positivity to a community at one time. It's a blessing to be able to give back and inspire people in so many ways that, you know, I never thought I'd been able to do. Nothing better than playing for my hometown. <laughs> this is what I live for. Restless, but I gotta get up. I gotta get to work. There is no reason for me to lay in bed and sleep while I can be up getting it for my family and for myself. The toughest struggle I had was not having my dad growing up. I was young when my dad went in. He's been in prison for about 10 years now, so. My dad was taken from me. It felt like my, my life was taken from me. But I just always stayed focused on God and on my family and on sports. That's why I'm here now. Not having my dad there, you know, to you know, come wake me up or, you know, to go somewhere with him in the morning or something like that just motivate me to, you know, get up and go do something. Now, sometimes we have to grapple with the enormity of the Louisiana Purchase, what it actually meant to the country. But what it actually meant was that the United States virtually doubled in size. Now think about that. Spain, Portugal, Italy, France, Germany, the Netherlands, Switzerland, Great Britain. Most of Western Europe, in other words, would fit in. When I hit that court, the it's like, it's a new life. Yeah. Nothing makes me more happier than being on the court. Guys, what is this noise? One thing. What is the earth, the world, mostly made of? Water. Water. How much percent water? 75. 75. Where's Darius right now? In the training room? Okay. What about our bodies? Our body's made up of mostly what? Water. How much percent? 
What is the way you gonna hit home? Guy? I'm gonna keep pounding. I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring a fire hydrant or something from the fire station. Just show y'all how powerful water is. And scorch you with it. You're gonna go flying back. And we're gonna say, where's that guy? I ain't seen him since. Get that picture. And everybody. <laughs> You know, I was always better in baseball and football, but I just always knew that I wanted to play basketball and that's what I was going to pursue all my life. My fire was just lit more in basketball. I was more electrical. You gotta have passion in, you know, what you do, and that's, that's key to life. You gotta have heart. To, to your team, you know, it, it really worked wonders. Like they say, man, you practice how you play. You play how you practice. Put all my feelings and emotions out there on the court. Just keep working. Having basketball in my life saved me from violence and being out in the streets with the wrong crowds. I learned how to be myself. I've had a lot of criticism go on throughout my life. Like, people never thought I'd be who I am today. That I wouldn't make it. That I was too short. That I wouldn't even finish college. I had a lot of down times where I felt things wouldn't work out for me. This is what I want to do with my life.
It's either forever or never. When you see me on that court, you're going to fear me. Being in the A was exclusive, man. That was the fort. We ain't lose no games in the fort. The experience playing in the fort was ecstatic. It's a small gym, but the fans that we brought, they really packed it out and, and showed so much love and support to our team. Biggest challenge, most important game of the season in the fort. Bigger than Langston, bigger than Our Lady Lake, LSU S. LSU, LSU. What more do you want, guys? That's a Duke, North Carolina basketball rivalry. That's a LSU, Alabama football rivalry. It's right here. LSU A, LSU S. Let's get out there and defend, fellas. Hey, we've already made a statement with the Red River. We've knocked off Texas College. We've taken care of Wiley on the road. We took care of Our Lady twice. We got revenge on Langston. You know, the Red River Championship is ours, fellas. But hey, this right here is what's left. Let's show these guys who's on top of the Red River right here tonight in the gold jerseys in the fort. Pack up. This who I am. This is what I worked for all my life. A lot of flashes coming in here, like anything that's in my head is is coming out when I'm when it's time to play basketball. Ball game. what you make out of your situation is what attitude you have that's what's gonna determine the outcome it ain't where you come from it's you know what you do and what you make out of your time while you're here so and really you know you gotta make a change like you gotta make a change like not just you know just be around and you know talking about it like i really like you really got to do something and have an impact and you know bring some positive energy and make it expand you know expand and keep expanding
We all in this together. I'm just loving every minute of it. Game where we come out, punch them in the mouth and jump. Stay on them. Don't let them get, don't give them any hope to get back in the game. That's the team I've been waiting to watch play all year long. We paint the purple. That's for us. Mm. We ain't giving nobody no nothing. We ain't leaving nothing for nobody. I want all of it and dessert. Yeah. All right, good workout out there today, fellas. Hey, Coach yeah. Jay's purple coat. Let's get Coach Jay purple two class. <laughs> you be in class. We're going to meet at study hall at 145 tomorrow on the weekly schedule. So let's use it, guys. Fellas, we've been talking about one, two, three. This is a lifestyle. Long time. The conference champs. I'm just happy that I kept faith in and believed in my process and that this was all in the plan. To study in the bar at 145 and I-18. Hey, come to chapter 3, National Champs on 6. 1, 2, 3. Come to Champs. 4, 5, 6. That's the Champs. Yeah! Hey, coach. My name is Dequavius Wagner. I'm from Alexandria, Louisiana. Call me punk.